So hi everybody and welcome back to Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 92 and in this video we are creating this collectible rifle which we see here. So the, in the end we have this one as well. But let's get started. First of all, let's open up our rifle which we want to create because we just more or less do the whole stuff here what they did. So we redo it and the reason why we redo it to understand it uh, because this uh, tutorial series is for absolute beginners and we have not talked that much about code and so I will try to use this as an opportunity to talk about this code a little bit. So let's get started. We are creating a blueprint class. So I open up the folder. I use the structure folder of the first person character. I go there to the blueprints, right click and go to blueprint class blueprint class and we choose here on the comment section this actor because actor means all time we can place something in the world or we can spawn it that's very good for us and we name it the convention is all time something like bp for blueprint underscore and then you name it what you like in my case collectible item so after we did this one we open this one up we dock it here on top so we can switch nice uh, here for and back and then we go here to our viewport as well in the viewport where the rifle is and we just try to do the same thing let's see how they created this visual viewport here so they have here a skeletal mesh and then add a sphere component let's do this as well we go here to our blueprint our viewport and then i click here add skeletal mesh then i find here the skeletal mesh and then i select the skeletal mesh and then press here add sphere oops or let's write here call collision and then we have here options uh, box collision capsule collision and sphere collision and two more here down but i take here the sphere collision and now you see it is the parent and if it's not your parent here keep this in eye you can just dock it here on this one now i have uh keep it out now i dock it back and now it's the parent here so make sure that this is the parent so next thing is we are almost done we need one more step we select the skeleton mesh we go here on the right side to the details panel we go down to mesh and select here the weapon of course you can uh, get uh, your own skeletal meshes and put anything here for example uh, in our other project rpg project we have weapons there with blades and something like that but for this demonstration we use this one and we are almost finished later we have set up this let me slow down this one here later we have set up this collision box as well because we need to but now we save we continue and we see this is all that what we needed actually one more thing you can see my uh <laughs> my uh skeletal mesh is not the root component and how you can see that that this one is not the root component of course it says because we have here default scene root that is one indicator but one more thing when i click my skeletal mesh or let's click my default scene root then you can see here on the details panel in transform you have only the option scale there is no uh, option of transform for example you can't place it in a location and that's why most time i keep the default scene route and all the objects which i'm going to add i still have access to <clears throat> location and scale but sometimes you can't do this but let's see if we can do this in this uh, in this version so let's keep it they have not done it i do it and we test it so let's go on we switch now to the event graph because we want here a little bit code and what we are going to code is actually oops actually we want code that if our player overlaps overlaps with the sphere collision here that he can pick this up right so we have to go to our blueprint we select our sphere and then we go here on the right side to the details panel we scroll down and we use uh on component begin overlap and we most time use this overlap because it's really powerful but sometimes hit and other are very good too but we are using this on overlap and then we have this on component overlap and uh, node 
and this one will react uh, to and we have to define to what this node should react in our case when our first person character is overlapping it so i have to cast it to my first person character cast to the first person character in this case this one and now we have to find uh, with, uh, with what uh, the sphere should overlap and now we can make here a um, reference a reference means just a variable so that we have access to this first person character instead of going all time here to this point here that's why we go to this point one time right click it and right uh, click here promote to variable and now we have access with this variable which is now here on the left side under variables and the name is as third person character now we have all time access to our first person character public uh, variables and uh, components which are public available that's very good so the next thing is uh, we need here uh, this uh, after we overlap it we have to say to the mm, collision box uh, no then we have to say <coughs> after sorry um, that uh, we want to attach the weapon which is on the ground now to ourself and there we know this node it is this attach uh, component there are many 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 attaches actually where you can see we have here many things but we write here attach component to actor let's see is this one attach actor to component yeah this one we can use and now we have just to fill the options here and to make them doable so target is ourself why it's the target ourselves because when we watch we want that this rifle which is ourself right now because i'm in this uh, event graph i want this one here later to be the second one to parent to our character so the target is ourself it it's already self here it writes self that's perfect <clears throat> then i can write go here parent which i have to get and the parent is our first person character so actually we can just connect this one here directly here or you can make also this one as well so uh, get this one here but i think this one works but oops that is target sorry this one works not target is ourself sorry and the parent we can't connect you see that's not working so the question is why is this not working and the reason for that is this one is a component and our parent let me open up fast the first person character which is here and our parent is yes you can see it this is our first person character and this one is not a component this is a blueprint the whole thing but a component is on the left side here under components and we need just to choose one of these components and we choose this first person mesh so i go to back to my blueprint and i have just to use this um, variable which is a reference which i said a reference is something which um, get access to all the properties here and i have now access also to this components here on top and i have just to select this component and how i select this i drag this out and write here character mesh and you see we have here many many options again most time you have to scroll down where it says uh, variables it's most time on the bottom and then you see here some options and here it says a get mesh and this get mesh is actually not the right one we see this one first person mesh i need here not here you can see we have access to this mesh this first person mesh and i need actually this first person mesh so red, let's write here first person and then scroll down on the bottom most time so i go to the bottom and you can see here are some default uh, components or variables and we need this get first person mesh and if you are wondering why they say here get this is a programming thing it's a getter and uh, that's why it's called with get but it's the same like first person mesh there so just keep in mind get is uh, just a programming thing and you can watch this online what it means what a getter is so let's continue we can connect this one here and they did one more step here which is they find here the sockets and because i don't know it 
I just watch what they did and we go to their solutions. You see, they did exactly the, the same thing we do. First of all, they created this uh, on component collision, on component begin overlap like we did. Perfect, here at start. And they did it even better because they commented out. So you should comment this out too. So you see, this is one block, one functional block. Then the second functional block is just create a reference and then have a nice comment. And then here, this uh, first step is to attach this weapon to our component, which we are doing. Interesting is they use here self um, a node, which is not necessarily needed, I think, because here we already write self. This will, should work too. I'm not sure. Perhaps we need, but let's tell, uh, test. Normally we don't need it. So let's continue. And then I need the socket name. Okay, I copy this one because... Uh, I use their socket name, it's the same. And if you are wondering what is this socket name actually, let me show you this one too. We go to the first person character and the first person character on the right side, when you select here on the left side, first you mesh. This is this mesh. It looks a little bit strange and it is two hands, but this is our mesh. Then you go here on the right side to details and then there to mesh. And then you can see here skeletal mesh. And this is our skeletal mesh. You click on it. Then it opens up this file, you double click on this one, and you can see here, when you select your skeletons, uh, skeleton tree, you can select it also here on the window if it's not pop up at start. Then you have all this uh, skeletons here and you can choose, and you have just to choose one of this name and they choose here, like you can see, this uh, grip point. And if you can't find this, you go on top and right here, grip, and you see they choose this skeleton here, so it's here on the front. Of course, you can create your own uh, socket here anywhere too, but we skip this part. We continue. <clears throat> so with that set, we go back and we have to do one more thing. And here, location rule and uh, rotation rule and scale rule. That's very interesting actually. And why that's so? Because if you don't do this one here, it will be not near your character because this is handled differently. Let me show you this one, what I mean with that. So let's first, let's get rid of the original one. And now we use my, which is, where was it? First person in blueprints. And then I called it my, <clears throat> my, this one, no. What I called it, one, my collectible items here in front, oops. So here, and now I start the game. Here is my collectible and you see no weapon. The problem is here is a weapon, but not near us. I press here F8. I can, F8 means you have a fly mode, you can search and you see my weapon is here anyhow. And you see it is even idling. So the problem is this uh, mechanism behind the scene is not snapped to your character and this word snap is exactly what we need here and this actor attached to component we can set here uh snap to target target is ourselves here right target snap to target and snap to target so and now we compile save start and we create it the problem is i can't shot so I have just created now the attachment and this is very powerful. Why is this so powerful? Because later, for example, our RPG game, we can make with this technique collecting items, not necessarily attaching directly items, but we can collect items, attach items, or just put it in inventory or something like that. And with that said, I won't stop here. We will continue here a little bit more because I can't shut. And the reason for that is because this was only the first part here, which you can see. And we will talk in the next video about a dispatch a little bit and then finish this code here with the shots as well and to use our created project type. So with that said, I stop here. And if you have any questions, any complaints, write it in the comments and see you in the next video. Bye.